the boat. But guess what? We got a banana on the boat. We've been lied to all this time. It's good luck. The banana's good luck, Philip. <laughs> In this video, we're going to be taking you guys shrimp trawling, commercial shrimp trawling, right off the coast of Beaufort, South Carolina. I'm out here today with my good friend, Philip McFerry. And we're right out in the St. Helena Sound. You can see the Harbor River Bridge back in the distance. We can see some other boats trawling back behind us. And we're right out in front of the beautiful houses on Harbor Island. And we're getting ready to pull our trawl net up for the first time out here this morning. We have been trawling now about an hour and we've covered about two to three miles of uh, ocean floor with a 48 foot net. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this boat down to a gripping pace and let my good buddy Philip do his deal back there with the trawl winch. And for any of you guys that's interested, we are using a double drum with two cat head trawl winch with an electric motor gearbox that's chain driven. We're in a 21 foot well craft design boat using a four stroke Mercury 150. And it is Beautiful day to be out here. We got a little chop on the water. Feels like it's coming out of the southwest right in behind us right now. I see the birds and stuff there out here and they're just diving everywhere. And it's such a beautiful sight to see these animals and wildlife. You can see. We're going to ease forward a little bit, put a little tension on it for him so this trawl winch is not pulling the boat backwards. We're dragging up 150 foot of cable. We was trawling with 150 foot. And on this boat right here, you got this block over here that's going to our left door, that one to our right door. And we got one cable right there in the middle going to the bib and you can see the buoys are starting to come up that's the bib of the trawl net what do you say cap we're pulling a little bigger net this time wrapped up behind the boat right here but uh yeah we went from stepped up from a 35 foot to a 48 foot and this little 21 foot boat well craft with that 150 is pulling this 48 foot net pretty well and in a moment you'll start to see her doors come up and hang on each side of the boat and he'll use these levers right here to break his set of brake or a stopping point on the drums on the video we're about to show you what's in this trawl net this morning okay here we go we're getting close over here the center line is close we're gonna leave that one down a little bit right there in the water um, the last time we used the boat we noticed that when we pulled the doors up out of the water they were swinging a lot so we decided the best thing for us to do is leave them right there philip you're right in the side of the boat the water kind of helps those doors from swinging around on us philip's getting ready to go back here to the door where he's got his uh 
rope going back to his tail bag. He's going to bring around to this block here to the cat head and get the tail bag pulled in for you guys. Ooh, we sure are hoping we got something in here today. And I'm going to take the boat and go into a right hand spin right now so that he's pulling the tail bag around to the right or the left of the net back there. We're just hoping that when we set out that we didn't like get the net tangled or anything. It's always, see what I was saying, Philip? This center one right here is the stop for your cat head. And check these dolphin out right here. That's one of the things that I love to see when we're out here. Right out here. Oh man. Those dolphin were following the boat just, you know, eating our catch. They love to follow trawl boats. And the laughing gulls. What's it looking like, Cap? I see a big bag, but seeing a lot of fish in there. What you think? Yeah, looks like it's gonna be big stuff. Cap, make sure you speak up now, cause um, it's hard to pick up our voices out here. Okay. <laughs> I, I see some cannonball jellyfish right there. Is that bag twisted in there, Philip? Is it supposed oh, to be man. that way? You got you know it. Hand me that rope back there, Cap. All right, Bo. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hey. got a rope with a hook that we're gonna just like set a noose around that tail bag right above it. And we're gonna release this off of here once he does it. Yeah. Back off of it a little bit, a little bit more. And this is a great, great boat for trawling because look guys, with that back section like that, you don't get tangled up in the net and the motor as much. All right, you got to come off of here. I'm the one-handed helper today, Philip. one on bandit. One arm bandit, babe. Give yourself some slack with this one. Lock her down. Lock her down. There you go. <laughs> there we go. Whoa, lordy, what a bag. Easy, boy. We, we got... We ain't gonna turn the boat over. You good? Man, look at there, what a bag, gosh. Easy. We probably don't need to pull that long again. What you think, Philip? You gonna have to have a shovel to get all this stuff here out of here. Lord, have mercy. Oh, the winch ain't wanting to hold it. A lot of weight, guys. You know what? <laughs> Find out where that middle brake's for if it holds it right there. Yeah, that holds your cat head. Hey! Oh. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. What we gonna do? What are Easy, babe. Oh, lordy. Oh. We're gonna figure it out. Yeah. And look right there in the top of the bag. What is that? Oh, shark. Shark. Man. Boy. Uh, All right now. What's our plan, Cap? Well. You me pull it up some more? 
we got to get off here for a second, guys, because uh, we got to figure out how to get that big bag up in this boat. It's just a station identification. We will be right back. That's right. You come on back with us. Y'all watch this. We need to get out of here. You got those hooks in here? You got a set of those hooks. Right got there. The, yeah. This right here, something little rigged up to grab that net with so you don't get your fingers hurt inside of the net. It looks like it's rigged. Hey, there's two of them in there. One for the other hand. Oh, you ain't got one hand though, do you? <laughs> <laughs> even know if I'm gonna be able to roll it inside the boat. We may need another wind on this boat too. Hey guys, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it it. Here it comes guys. Woo, look at that, look at that. The only shrimp in the bag, he's squishing. It, look, oh, look at them shrimp. Look at them shrimp, well. Look at them shrimp. Look. Oh, nice shrimp. Nice. Look. Guys. Nice. Look at this. This is the biggest bag we caught on this boat yet. About that, How many pounds you think in there, Phil? A bunch of them. Seventy-five hundred. Seventy-five hundred. Boy, you doing? You doing that? Seventy-five to a hundred. Oh, guys. I was gonna say you you doing weight like somebody else I know around here. Now come on. We're gonna dump these in the bottom of the boat. We're gonna have to, ain't we? That pan ain't gonna do no good. So anybody that's following along on. The videos on solder reflection, I truly appreciate it. Uh, we've been, had a guy come to my house, help me out with my Parker. Aaron just got in contact with me off of Facebook, guys. Didn't even know the guy come to my house to help me out. I had that out drive off. We took it apart and found out that the top end of that out drive was locked up and we actually got that motor back running but it's still getting all uh water in the oil so could be a head gasket or something there i'm not sure what to do about that boat yet so maybe, there, maybe one of you guys could come get it y'all could own that thing there's a few good guys out there trying to help us and we sure do appreciate that <laughs> well, we won't talk about that knot now, but, but, but I tell you what, it held them in there, didn't it? It so did. Great goodness. I know it's restricting me from getting them out, too. No, I said that one arm that's restricting you, Oliver. <laughs> but I'm one arm now. <laughs> God, look at this right here. Man, I'm telling you, we got a bag full of stuff here, right? Man, we got him, brother. Yeah, you might as well get rid of that parker. You, you gonna have to, you gonna have to come on here. All right, here we go. Let's All right. Back on for a second. Come on, we're too top. Pulling that thing up, trying to get some done. Got a lock. Well, it ain't quite locked, but y'all look at this. Y'all look at this. What? <laughs> what the world are we gonna do with all this stuff? <laughs> We're gonna try to sell them. God almighty. Son, look at it. Uh, hold that right there, Alan. I know you tried. Oh, so any of you guys need any shrimp? 
make sure you hit us up we usually post them on facebook you can look us up salty reflections on facebook or you can look up philip mcfairy right on facebook we're traveling between Beaufort, South Carolina, and all the way, all the way up to North Augusta. So you guys got a glue, glue look at what we got to go through. We got to sort all this stuff. It's a lot of work in the shrimping, and it takes a lot of skill. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention uh, on the, the Facebook page for salty reflection there was a picture taken right off of the harbor river bridge the other day and everybody's kind of you know connecting with that picture and the fact that you know we, we, we're just trying to encourage people that always check to make sure your restaurants are using fresh shrimp and remember the skill and the hard work it takes to catch shrimp and look out for the local shrimpers or shrimp trawlers in your area wherever that is the, those families depend on you guys we got to get this stuff sorted out we're gonna set the net back out and, and we'll... just remember guys we're not in china these are not china shrimp look here guys good size see a couple little small ones in there but overall pretty good shrimp I'm thinking them are anywhere from 21 to 28 count. Maybe a little better than that. Some of the bigger ones. And we are selling the shrimp de-headed. $8 a pound. That's heads off. And heads on. How much you gonna get, Cap? $3.50. $3.50 a pound, guys. That's a deal right there. That is a deal. Heads on, three fifty a pound. But you know, a lot of times we need to know that you 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 know you want some of those heads on shrimp because we like to get these things taken care of and processed as soon as possible. We're gonna get this thing set back out, guys. We'll come back with you in a second. a pretty good pull right there guys and we couldn't be more thankful all the time and hard work and effort to see a good pull that that means a lot now we only need the customers right right Philip? we need those customers right, right. we're doing the work we're doing all the hard work we get them for you guys this thing we want to be trawling at about two to three mile an hour that's our target speed hey what you gonna do with this mess Captain? We, we we got to clean that up boy great Captain. we got to get to work guys got to get this mess cleaned up here get them in the cooler get them on some ice hey cap so I don't think you can wait right because we just put 65 pounds of clean shrimp in there and we still got all of them to go. Oh my lord, look here guys. Look here. Look at these. 
man i'm talking about some beautiful beautiful white shrimp i mean we're just loaded down that's that south carolina gold there look at it seven incher nice we got to get to keep sorting what you think you cap what you thinking babe i don't even want to check this next bag yeah guys we just now getting finished up sorting all this stuff the by catching stuff off of these shrimp we filled up two of those baskets that's already in this cooler give you guys a look at them again Woo -wee. got them covered in that ice and we got three quarters of another basket estimated pounds cap i would say about 175 pounds in that one pool oh Lord. we own them we own them both fist bump me babe teamwork yeah. makes the dream work you can't be that big 50 pounds no, you, re you really can't. These shrimp right here, guys, we're going 350 a pound. Heads on. Eight dollars a pound. Heads off. Nice shrimp. Look at him. And they're Let me all. Hold that Let me hold that camera. Look down. at him. If you think shrimping is easy, look at that, that one arm man is filthy. <laughs> I mean. Okay, we got to pull this. Uh, we, 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 got, we, got to get, we got to get this thing pulled up again, guys. This took us a while. I know we've been trolling at least all I'm, I'm definitely worried about getting the next bag over the rail. It's time to pull this again. It's time, babe. We ain't got no shrimp. No, we still got room. We got baskets. We got the rest of that cooler. Uh, ain't we ain't going to talk enough. about that one. That one another full. We got some buckets back there. We about to pull it again with you guys. Let's do it, Phil. I know you're tired, Woo! but you got to tighten up, babe. You want to tighten up. Bring it down, babe. Bring it down. We want back on that throttle. Here we go. We're down to about 1,200 RPMs. That should do pretty good. Got one of the big boys coming out here. Yeah, somebody he, told me about that first pool. He must have seen our darn uh, posts on Facebook. Got one of the big boys coming. He's been, he's fixing to drop too, fella. Oh man, they gonna rake them all in. They might be getting here a little too late to rake them all in though, right, Cap? Oh yeah, he ain't gonna get them all. No, sir. Not today. He can get his share though. Damn, what a beautiful day to be out here. Look at the dolphin. You ain't gonna please this one. My wife's got this dolphin. He said his wife's got all the dolphins out here named. <laughs> one breaks the water, she calls it up here by name. That's right. Oh, did y'all, did, did you see Flipper? Uh, you got Flipper, you got Flappy Tail. That's the only two I know. Flipper and Flappy Tail. And then look at them coming right here to the boat. Coming to see what we got. What some beauties. Bo, he, he, know, he should know better than that now. He can't do that. I know he's in a bigger boat, but... He's still hooking up, pulling back. I mean, I hope he can see we're trying to pull up right here. I don't think he'll come to this side, fella. No, he ain't. Bring it up here. 
bringing this door on up so you can grab it. Look here, guys. Look, look. Wow. Man, so beautiful. Just. Oh, man. Who'd like to be out here right now? Yes, sir. You made it look easy. You're doing a good job. Real good. I got the big man working back there now. I don't put him on them shrimp too. Then the cat. In a minute now, we got to get this thing to turn it a little more, fella, because the net is going around us. I'm trying to get it to pull that thing up on the left side of the net back there. We got to get the boat to spin a little more. Having to give it a little more fuel cap. I don't know, fella. Can't get turned in the wind, Bo. The wind will affect these boats. Bring it right over the top, Cap. We'll get it back in there. Here you go. Got it? one-armed band that ain't helping out too much right oh, now yeah. you know man this wind's got got us how's it feel you got it. <laughs> <laughs> how can you tell and the more wraps you get around these cat heads the the more pull you have if he would like go through wraps it would give him more friction on the spool you know right now two's doing a good job sometimes we'll go up to three it's coming right around right cat i told you i knew what i was doing I was afraid of that. <laughs> Turn that switch off my teeth too. Oh. How about that? Did I tell you to? There. All right. Don't cap and get low. Leave it at the bottom of the net. Bo. This is crazy. Silver Fox. Got the Silver Fox out here. Hey, crawling along. Miss Shelly. Oh, we got work right here. We got work to do. Oh, I got that. Man, I'm just... Man, I got to show everybody what's around us, babe. I got to make me and you start looking like professionals, Philip. Seems like we've been looking kind of like amateurs. You got to kind of dump that right on down in the bag right there. See it? It's alright. It's okay. We ain't worried about missing that many. Just hook it back there, cap. And I'll come. Yeah, hell, let me hold it back for a second. Let me go around your pole. There you go. That'd be better getting that hooked up like this, right? Gonna be a big bag. I can tell that already. Ooh, woo. Now I'm straightening out a little bit so that when we start pulling that bag over the side, this boat ain't leaning as much. A lot of weight here, guys. A lot of weight. All right.
I paused for a station identification. Pause for a station identification? Yeah, we got you. All right, guys, Woo. we got to pause for a station identification. We'll be right back with you. Here we go. Big pool, big pool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Great day. Oh, baby. Hold oh, no. <laughs> on. This thing, no. Whew. Lordy, have mercy. We need to slide that big cooler over this way, babe. A heavy cooler. Fill it. What you think, dog? Ooh. Huh? I'm leaning. We need to get that big cooler slid over here. Man, we got to get some of this weight. <laughs> you can't come over here? No, I ain't coming over there right now. Not, not right this second. Slide it up. There you go. Ugh. Come on, dog. <sighs> so how many pounds was that in there? We still leaning lean a little bit, but we better than we was. Right. And once we get it on over that rail there, be we need those hooks. They in your basket right there, Phil. Got a big old shrimp over there in the bottom of the boat, man. Can't leave them big shrimp like that. Put him in here, dog. See it, right there. There you go. Give me them power holes. Well, whatever the hell they call. What they call? What the hell? The claws, where they at? They ain't in the basket right there. Right there, Philip. They're right there by you to your left. Why ain't you coming on this side? I'm letting you pull this one up. <laughs> I'm letting you roll this one in the boat. Got it? And we got a good bit of oh. cannonball jelly. <laughs> That's on my nose. <laughs> I told you, man. I was like, no, man, we we gonna have a hard time pulling this thing up, boy. And look at this. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. I hope it don't flip with us. Uh, at least we know where the light is going. Wait a minute. A little bit more. A little bit. You can let your spool down now. It'll fall down in here. Oh, we gonna get a break? We ain't gonna get no break today, dog. I just calling him dog so I don't have to, you know, be like saying like two syllables. Fill up. Yeah, don't let it sit down on your tail, bro. Your mama go in on time. See that? You never get it up from under there. You gonna have to. You gonna take. You gonna tear your back up. Huh? You gonna tear your back up? Pull it. <laughs> you can't pull that. <laughs> Philip, you working with the big loads now, man? We ain't in the amateur league no more, huh? You gonna hook the winch to it? Me and Phillip's got to come to a decision now to see if we're going to have enough room to trawl again or what we're going to do. We definitely don't need to trawl that long again, I don't sure believe. Enough. Oh, sure enough. This is a family power needed, whatever. He's just tying it to the tail bag so he can kind of... What are you gonna do? He gonna tighten that dang knot so tight he can't pull it. Unti uh, I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> you gonna tighten that thing so much? You gonna have that knot so tight? Yeah. Look at that. Uh, 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 fella. You gonna tighten the knot, man? We are gonna do it to the rings or something? Hot <laughs> on. You want me to help? <laughs> Let's watch this. Uh-huh. We're going to have to go back to plan B. Okay. Cool. I know where we're going to get this thing bag sorted. I know you're tired, bro. Got that thing. 
gum Charlotte's web net back there. It, damn, it ain't play. Good goodness, it's a dead gum shrimp in there. There you go. We figured out what that lever was today. Whew, thank God. What you got down there, Oliver? A sore back. So back. So back. That's an Indian tribe, ain't it? So back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what you think about that man's shoes at Parker's yeah. this morning? Them shoes both. Yeah. He had only like leather shoes and all five of the toes, you, you know, was separate into. What? Why you got me talking about that, fella? I, I, I've, I've just lost the words when I seen. What, what's wrong here? So bad? I don't know, bro. I could help you, but I'm worn on. Ah, right, what? There you go. There you go. That's what I was. Wait a minute. What are you doing, Oliver? I'm trying to get. Oh, you're trying to get one of them rings? I'm going to turn the bag upside down. What's he doing? Oh, do we need to pause for a station identification? Yeah, you better get out of here as well. Look at that boat right, John. There ain't no captain on it. I'm telling you that right now. So down he will run slap over you. Are you you scared to be in Sudan uh, Sudanese way? I'm just trying to get my breath back at the moment. Hey, hold this right here just a minute. Let me yeah. guys look at that. Both. It looks like he's trying to go around that way. If you don't think this is a shrimp catching machine, folks. <sighs> yes, sir. We're going to be back in the same mess we was in a while ago. We ain't got nowhere to put shrimp. Hey, Oliver, let's call your wife and see if she brings some coolers. What you think? You think your wife will bring her some coolers? No, she's sleeping. She's still asleep. My, my honey bun needs a rest, man. Uh, honey bun, this must be gonna go live or something. Other. He said he called her honey bun. Yeah. <laughs> honey bun. Hey, goodness of life, oh, do we have a mess here? Yeah, we do. We got... Hey, I'm going to hey, pause this thing for a station identification. And I'll we don't have to pause for another station identification. Got that tail bag untied finally. What's wrong? Is it dump it, folks? Heck, the winch. Oh, you look at that. You breathing hard, how the winch was doing most of the work. Oh. <laughs> that winch is up there for show. Look at it. What a mess. What a mess, but you ain't going to believe how many shrimp's going to be in here. We got just as many or more as we had in the last pool. Some pretty ones too, Bob. Let me get this guy here out of here. These guys here were here when the dinosaurs was here. Dinosaurs. The horseshoe crab. And right there in the center of the legs, right there in the center, that would be the mouth of these. And these little claws and stuff, they can't really hurt you. Just don't pick them up by their tail. Grab them by their shell if you ever have to mess with them. And look at this. Big spider crab. Hey, Mr. Spider Crab. Do I look like an alien to you? Because you do to me. Oh. What did you drink this morning? I had 
that uh that uh cappuccino from Parker's. Man, this time, Philip, yep. let's just uh kind of circle around a little bit till we get this in uh, cleaned up. See what got we got. Idea. Let's go ahead and put the bag out. Not yet. Not yet. We don't need to. We'll do some loops so we can sort this stuff a little faster. I think we might even catch them shrimp. Is doing I don't think we're gonna need too many more. We're about to have a full boat here, guys. Thank the good Lord above, right, Philip? Couldn't do it without it. That's it. Not do it without. Let's get this over. Oh, Cap's tired. I'm tired. We done pulled the trawl net back up. We got to sort through this. We got about eight or ten miles. Ride back to Eddie's Point, boat landing. You guys stay safe, take care. We'll see you guys on the next one. Hey, you tell them about not even having a net out if we still call it. Yeah, when we when we put drug the net in, this was still in the net. Just all of this. That's more than we catch sometime in a whole pool. That's still a couple big ones. All right, yo guys, stay safe, take care. We'll see you out there on the water somewhere or you'll see me on the next video guys everybody's always said never bring a banana on the boat but guess what we got a banana on the boat we've been lying